What's going on guys, Zach here, and I'm bringing you a Tekka tutorial, which will be the first of many, and if you guys have any questions about any other things in Tekka, leave it in the comments, and I will do the best to answer it in either a tutorial or just talking about it. And what I'm going to show you today is the Obsidian Pipe, and I'll try to do it one of these every other Wednesday, but uh, depending on when... Like, if you guys actually post comments, if you guys post comments, I'll try to do one every Wednesday. If you don't, I'll do one every other Wednesday on different things. And then, our mine and Kevin's regular Tekkit series will be on Sundays, which uh, I just missed Sunday, so we'll start up next Sunday. But this won't be going up tomorrow, today's Tuesday, tomorrow being Wednesday. So, back to the video. Yes. Alright, so, got some stone that's got to be pumped over to this chest and this chest is now full so what's gonna happen is it's all gonna get clogged up here look so the stone's gonna pump out here and once it hits this it'll yeah and like two three is good doesn't really matter so it goes over there and it can't go in now if it's like gold or something, it's all gonna get, it's all gonna disappear if you're not there. So if you're not manually standing here picking it up, it's all, it's not all gonna be here. So what you have to do is you use the obsidian pipe, which, which is basically a uh, overflow protector, and it would work like this. So you need to have it raised up, otherwise it will just go in there. So like this. So you want your engine underneath a bit. But then you can't put uh, an obsidian, you can't put anything on top of the engine. So you have to make a little roof like that and put it right there so that way it actually works. And then you would put the chest right there. Or you can make another pipe going all the way down somewhere else. Which you can make overflow or something. But this all will catch this. Uh, turn on this engine turn it back on this engine so as the stone goes down let's go like uh, so it goes over there and then as soon as like it's a redstone engine they go slower so but every time it goes up it'll pull the new one in so if I go just throw them all right here they're all gonna picked up and put in this chest. So it's a good way to make sure that anything, if you had a messed up little like system, that nothing comes back down to the uh, like when everything, if anything comes back down, it'll go into the overflow and you can check it every once in a while. Uh, so once again, I'll show you guys this little setup I have. Good. Yep, gotta turn on some peaceful. So thanks for watching guys, check out my other videos, and I will see you later.